walimu wazazi na wanafunzi wa shule ya Kindestart iliyo katika mtaa wa Buruburu bado wanajaribu kukabiliana matukio ya siku ya Jumamosi kufuatia ubomoaji wa shule uliotekelezwa na watu waliojiriwa na mwekezaji wa kibinafsi Florence Moura ambaye ni mkurugenzi wa shule hiyo anasema kuwa hawakupewa agizo lolote kutoka kwa mahakama ama ilani ya kuondoka sehemu hiyo kwa kipindi cha miaka saba, shule hiyo imekuwa kwenye shamba linalomilikiwa na kanisa la Glad Tidings Crusade chini ya maktaba ya kukodisha uliotiwa saini miaka kumi iliyopita. Wanashangaa jinsi wanaodai umilikiwa shamba hilo waliweza kuimiliki. We know and we are trusting God that we we'll have a good way forward where we we'll put back our classes so that our children can continue with learning. It was an act of hooliganism and we condemn it with the strong in the strongest term possible and uh, we believe that the strong arm of the government will prevail justice to the entire fraternity of Kinderstart school so in the afternoon there was a commotion and during that commotion that is when three of our, of our teachers were injured Gavana wa Nairobi Mike Sonko aliyezuru eneo hilo la tukio siku ya Jumamosi ameapa kumfuatilia mtu aliyepanga ubomoaji huo. Sonko adai kuwa jamaa huyo anayedai wa kuwa miliki anajulikana kama mnyakuzi mkuu wa ardhi na mwenye mazoea ya kuchukua maagizo ya mahakama ili kuwapokonya watu sehemu za ardhi. Wakati huo huo Sonko alisitisha shughuli ya kuwafurusha wakazi wa mtaa wa Mkuru kwa jenga eneo la Embakasi. Hii ni baada ya usimamizi wa kaunti ya Nairobi kupata amri ya mahakama inayositisha wamiliki wadaiwa kubomoa makazi hayo. Niko na oda nilipata jana ya kusimamisha ubomoaji. Na rais huru kupitia kwa kinywa alisimamisha ubomoaji. Na mimi kama kochea wali generation committee ile Nairobi na kama governor wa Nairobi nimesimamisha ubomoaji wakati wa burugu hilo watu wanne walipata majeraha na kupelekwa katika hospitali ya Mama Lucy jijini Nairobi kwa matibabu na majeruhi waliletwa hospitali and uh, they were point number walihudumiwa vizuri uh, na wakapatiwa ruhusa ya kwenda nyumbani watarudi kuja kuonekana tena in case of anything coming up and for reviews juma juma tatu uh, the three of them were done x-rays and no fracture was found they had injuries on the legs and head and one was pregnant we were able to do an ultrasound she was 29 weeks pregnant pregnant and the baby was okay and everything was okay Watu watatu walikamatwa kwa madai ya kuhusika na uharibifu na kisha kufikishwa katika kituo cha polisi cha Buruburu na wanatarajiwa kufikishwa mbele ya mahakama siku ya Jumatatu.